But let's let's dive into the news from the last week. Um, Intel's contract manufacturing division, Intel Foundry Services, has secured a deal with Tower Semiconductor to provide foundry services and capacity after Intel's failed attempt to acquire Tower. Tower will utilize Intel's 300 millimeter wafer manufacturing capacity in New Mexico, expanding its fabrication capabilities for advanced analog chips in power management and radio frequency. The deal represents Intel's strategy to leverage leverage its global factory network to help companies enhance capacity across different regions, following the termination of the acquisition agreement due to approval changes. Is this a setback for Intel or do they have a plan B, Max? Well, I, I think, Brian, that uh, it's a setback for Intel because clearly they were looking at acquiring this company to kind of expand their capabilities and be fully in control of what needs to be done. So, I mean, the plan B obviously is that they managed to sign a contract with the with the company. But overall, if you look at the strategy that Intel has adopted, which is to be very aggressive in building up their capabilities, the thing is, if they have to rely on external suppliers and uh, outsourcing, you know, contracts and stuff of this kind, it's kind of not uh, being quite what the original plan was envisioned. So I think that uh, it's it's kind of the plan B, you know, for uh, for the moment, but still it's, uh, it's definitely a setback. So with that, uh, uh, our next story is about uh, HP. So um, HP is undergoing a transition from selling hardware to subscription-based models, leading to mixed results in its fiscal Q3 2023. Uh, so while the overall revenues have increased slightly to uh, over $7 billion, uh, HP Corp Alliance server business is in decline as server buyers are cautious about the economy and reluctant to invest in new hardware, even with the new processors from AMD and Intel. Uh, 